this one. If you are single and you spent the holidays alone, you know it really doesn't have to be that way. Are you my person? Speed dating along the shoreline can help by setting singles up in a safe, comfortable environment. And here to tell us how it works, are you my person's Susan Anderson. Susan, great to have you here this morning. Thank you. People are counting down the days to Valentine's Day. Yes. A lot of them are single. They need some help. <laughs> I need some help. All right, how does this work? Um, well, Are You My Person is a company that organizes events for singles on the shoreline. Mm -hmm. um, and we basically do two types of events. We do speed dating events and mixers. Okay. Um, at the speed dating events, you actually have the option to come and meet. You spend five minutes with each person there in okay. a scheduled conversation. And you also have the option to come to a speed dating event as just a mingler, which is kind of a new thing for us, which some people choose to do. You can hang back in the bar area. You still get to interact with everyone there, but you can kind of feel your oats a little bit before you commit to you know, the speed dating process. And there's some sort of icebreakers that you do. Tell us about that. Uh, we do. As soon as you come in the door, our goal is to make you feel very comfortable. Okay. We understand Born. everyone is very <laughs> nervous. Right. Um, most people are stepping out of their comfort zone. So we have a different icebreaker for each event, but one example would be you come in the door, you get an index card, and you write down something about yourself, and okay. you don't put your name on there, you fold it and put it in a jar. So the women would pick from the men's jar and so you've just picked a card that says, I have a pet snake or I once drummed with Van Halen or mm -hmm. whatever and now you're going to walk around and try to find out who wrote this card and it gives you a reason to walk around and talk to people without feeling like you're... Now are people afraid, does that help them kind of ease into it and once they get through that initial couple minutes everyone kind of yes absolutely it, down. it gives you a reason instead of having to take the initiative and just walk up to someone right. it takes the awkwardness away now tell us about the age range is it people in their 20s 30s 40s 50s um, what do it's we have all here? age ranges and each event is geared to a different age group so where do you see the most amount of people or is it just a lot of all of the ages it's a big variety but honestly the older the event gets the higher the population becomes is there a particular time of year that you're very busy I'm guessing right around now uh, still. right now a lot of people have made New Year's resolutions that they've been sitting at home long they're enough over it and they're gonna give themselves a little push yep. to get out and uh, maybe have a special date by the time Valentine's Day comes. Do you feel people are more open to this rather than internet dating? I mean, I know internet dating is very popular as well, but how does this, how is this different? Well, this is different because there's no mystery involved. Right. You're not going on a blind date where you've never laid eyes on mm -hmm. this person. Very important that you, and know, you never know what you're in for. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, a picture or an email could be misleading. Right. We're here, a face-to-face -face meeting, even in five minutes, you have a pretty genuine sense of who is this person and what kind of person are they? Yeah. How do they speak? How do they present themselves? Now, here's a, a, an important question. Are people doing this just for fun, to go on some casual dates, or are these people really, truly waiting to meet the one through this dating service? I think most people who come are genuinely trying to meet someone. Um, They're serious. I think they are. Um, and guys shouldn't feel like that is a scary thing because it's a very fun event. You come out and you just have a great time. It sounds so awesome. It is. I might have to come join you. I and a think couple of my single should. friends. Right, <laughs> so I'll bring some guy friends that are single too. Send some guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Susan Anderson, are you my person? Thanks for joining us thank this morning. Thank you. For more information, just log on to our website at WTNH.com and click on the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.